Chatterbox is the best free local text-to-speech AI tool out there. It also allows you to change your own voice into the voice of someone else. And when it first came out, it even beat Eleven Labs, which is the best AI voice tool running in the cloud. But around the same time, Eleven Labs released a new and improved version. And ever since my GPU died, I've been using more and more AI that's running in the cloud, such as Eleven Labs. So in this video by AI Voice Tutor, we'll compare both tools, not just in terms of voice quality, but also in terms of usability, performance, and their features, aiming to give you a solid overview of what each tool can do, but also what their pros and cons are. Let's start with the usability, which includes setting everything up. And for Eleven Labs, you only need to sign up and log in to start using the most popular features for free right away. By the way, if you plan on trying it out and you want to support this channel, then you could use the link from the video description to sign up. Depending on which models you use, you will get up to 20 minutes worth of free credits each month and unused credits will carry over in case you decide to switch to a paid plan later. Chatterbox, on the other hand, needs to be installed on your machine and I recommend using Pinocchio for super easy installation. You will find Chatterbox within the community scripts and there are several different implementations, as you can see. If you have an NVIDIA card on Windows, then I suggest you use either one of these two. If you are on Mac or if you want a simple user interface on Windows, then you should use this version of Chatterbox. Just keep in mind that if you want to install more than one, you need to make sure to not use the same name twice during the installation, so just change the name in this window. Now in this version of Chatterbox, you launch each of the two main components, text-to-speech and the voice changer, separately. And both user interfaces are as simple to use and as straightforward as the Eleven Labs UI. So just enter the text and hit Generate. As you can hear, the output sounds very real and it beats all other free voice cloning tools that I tried so far. What you are hearing right now is the standard voice, so let's drag in an audio sample of someone familiar. While it's recommended to use about 30 to 40 second audio clips as input, even with a 10 second sample, you can replicate the voice of anyone almost perfectly. You can change your own voice into another voice just as easily by either recording your own voice right in the web browser or by uploading a previously recorded file. And that brings us to the quality of the voices, which also points to a limitation of Eleven Labs. And that is even though you can add a new voice to be used for TTS or voice changing just as easily as you can do it in Chatterbox, you need to have permission to use the voice or else you are violating their TOS. For their more advanced voice cloning, they even require you to verify your permission to use a voice through a live recording of that voice. So no cloning of celebrity voices on Eleven Labs. And even though Eleven Labs does offer a few celebrity voices, this also means a direct comparison, for example, with the same audio input of the same famous voice, isn't possible across the platforms. So here's a comparison of different voices using the same TTS prompt. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. And here's a comparison of the voice changer mode with my voice as input. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the performance of different AI tools across various hardware. I'll leave it up to you to judge which one sounds better, as both aren't perfect. But what you are hearing right now is my voice changed to another voice by 11 Labs. So I chose to stick with them for the voiceovers for my videos. Something that is less subjective than quality, however, is the performance. 
I ran some tests and then calculated the average time it took the tools to generate the same test sentence you just heard. The best GPU I currently own is the GTX 1080, which is almost 10 years old now. And with that, I'm getting over 9 iterations per second, which is a bit over 15 seconds in total. If you are luckier than I am, and you actually own a decent modem NVIDIA GPU, then you will be getting much higher speeds here. By the way, if you are looking at upgrading your PC, then I recommend you watch this AI PC hardware guide, which also gives you some insight into the issues with my RTX 4090. It's also worth checking the description of the video you're watching right now for links to the GPUs I recommend, and hopefully I'll be able to get one of them myself soon. On my MacBook, I'm only getting half as many iterations as on the 1080, and the reason is that it's running Chatterbox in CPU mode, since for some reason, when you use a tool like Chatter, which is a Chatterbox implementation that utilizes the GPU on Mac, also known as the Metal Performance Shaders, it starts fast, but it gets slow really quick, to a point where it's even slower than the constant speed you're getting when using the CPU. 11 laps takes less than 2 seconds for generating the audio with a V2 model and about 4 to 6 seconds with V3. What's interesting here is that when you try it with a prompt that is over 3 times as long, then the local tools will roughly take about 3 times longer to generate the audio, which is expected. But 11 laps V2 takes just 1 second longer compared to the single sentence and V3 takes about 7 seconds until the audio starts playing, but it isn't done generating and it's just streaming the data to you. This is and you can tell by the changing the waveform and effect that it takes a few AI more seconds until the download button parts. becomes available. For the speed of 11 flash 2.5, check out this unedited screen recording which shows how fast it is. This is a test sentence to compare the It feels almost of instant tools, even with the longer text. Hardware. This is a test sentence to compare the which for a web app is quite impressive. The voice conversion in Chatterbox is much faster than text to speech and even runs faster than real time on old hardware such as my GPU. Funny that the 1080 is even a bit faster than 11 laps V2. Hopefully, V3 will become available for voice changing soon. When it comes to the features, besides the two main basic features you've already seen in the simple UI, the other Chatterbox implementations come with much more, such as useful tips on how to use the tool, a mode for multiple speakers, various settings and effects to tweak the audio, and even the 3D audio mode. One of the major flaws of most open source zero-shot AI voice cloning tools is that they only support English. And sadly, Chatterbox is no exception. Since it's open source, people are working on other languages and hopefully this will become available in the future. 11 Labs V3, however, supports over 70 different languages, while their older and smaller models are supporting less but still a decent amount of languages. I made a video about free multi-language text-to-speech, so if you're interested in that, you can find the video here or on my channel in my AI Voice playlist. All Chatterbox implementations that I've seen come with this exaggeration control, and here's a comparison of how the different values sound. This is the minimum exaggeration level. This is the default exaggeration level. This is the exaggeration level set to 1. This is the maximum exaggeration level. 11 Labs V2, amongst other options, also has the exaggeration control, but with V3, they introduced emotion tags, which make the exaggeration feel outdated. Take a listen to this, where I might have pushed it a bit too far by using too many tags. So, <laughs> this means that within a single prompt, <laughs> You can cover all these different emotions or even create some ASMR. <sighs> if that's what you like. It's just impressive which kind of variety you can achieve with this, making this really feel like next level text to speech.
And the whispering works really well if it's the only tag you use. Overall, 11 Labs has many more features, such as designing a brand new voice via text prompt, bulk operations, and you can even generate sound effects or isolate voices. And while I haven't tried the voice isolation yet, there is a great free alternative for that purpose called Ultimate Vocal Remover, should you ever need it. This is just an excerpt of all the cool features both tools have. And even after using Eleven Labs for a few months now, there are still many things I haven't tried yet and they always keep adding new stuff. But my most favorite feature right now is the fact that Eleven Labs has an API, even as part of the free plan, which, for example, enables you to create voice agents easily and then use them in your own apps. I recently started discovering N8N and Make.com. And if you're interested in creating powerful workflows that embed any kind of local AI or cloud AI, then make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you won't miss the upcoming videos about that topic. As you've seen throughout the video, both tools are easy to use and the generated voices have a great quality. With the performance of Chatterbox depending heavily on your hardware, but therefore it's free with a limited usage, while like with most paid AI tools, the usage of 11 Labs is limited even when you pay for it. With Chatterbox, you can clone any voice without violating the TOS of a service that could easily ban you. And since 11 Labs is web-based, it requires an internet connection, but works on any device while Chatterbox can be used offline. Chatterbox also provides you with a public URL, but you still need to configure your firewall to make it accessible from outside your network. Besides the two main functions, Eleven Labs offers much more, and some of it, such as voice isolation or a speech to text, can be done for free on PC, but it's obviously handy to have it all combined in one tool suit. And with its API, the limits of what you can do with it seem endless. So, which one do you prefer, Eleven Labs or Chatterbox? And what's your take on cloud versus local AI? Do you only use one of them or both, like I do? I would love to read your opinion and feedback in the comments. Thanks to everyone contributing to open source AI tools in any way. And thank you for watching. If you've learned something new, then I'd appreciate if you liked or shared the video. And I'll see you next time.